Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and yes, today we're going to be debadging the Corsa B C20 Let because um, yes, it is a 2 liter turbo but and I understand that it's quite comical and kind of funny the fact that it's still got a 1.2 badge on it but at the end of the day, right I really want to kind of clean up the back end of the car and these badges on both sides are just kind of um, getting in the way of that so now the way I'm going to do it is the way I normally do it there's many ways to debadge a car properly, but basically in this video, you're gonna see how I do it. So anyway, if you do find this video helpful in any way, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. But with that being said, let's debadge the Corsa B C20 Lem. Right, so basically I'll give you guys a wee rundown on the method I'm going to do to remove the badges. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pour boiling hot water over the badges, which will in turn, loosen off all the glue in behind it then pretty much after that the badges themselves will pretty much either fall off or you just pull them off no problem at all with your fingers and um, i'm going to use something like a bank card just to try and take them off um, and then once the badges are off we need to get rid of the worst thing and that's the glue but the best stuff i figured out that's good to get rid of glue and the residue is this stuff here it's auto finesse obliterator it's just glue and tar remover, but this stuff is great for getting rid of all that kind of stuff. You can use a toffee wheel, but then, um, I don't know, I've never used one before, I don't want to use one either, but like I said, everyone does this differently. So, I'm going to use this stuff to get rid of the glue. And once the glue's off, get a wee polish, and then it should look amazing. So, so before we actually get on with today's video, I want to give you guys a wee update on something that's happening with the car. Now, you may remember in the last video, um, I was um, doing some bits on the C20 Let to get it ready for the cylinder head going on. There's going to be a bit of a delay in getting the cylinder head on. The reason for that being is because I need to order and buy some hydraulic lifters for obviously above the valve springs because the ones I got, they were sitting in a bag for a while and some like moisture has got into them and it sees some of them inside them and I don't want to use the ones that I got with the engine so I'm going to play it safe and get some brand new ones. Uh, so just to Give you guys a wee update on that. So the next video where I'll be installing the cylinder head and the ARP head studs and all that kind of good stuff, that'll be probably a while away yet because as I said, I need to get a hydraulic lifter. So, so I just want to give you guys a wee heads up on that. But enough waffling, let's go and debadge the Corsa. Right, so this is basically what we're left with now. The only kind of problem we need to get rid of next is you can almost see the outline of the voxel bad. So if I zoom in really closely, you can just see the voxel bad still kind of there. And obviously it's the same on the other side as well. Um, now one thing I will mention is when you're removing the glue, be very careful. Um, use like a plastic thing, like a bank card. Um, I'm using this plastic scraper just so you don't scratch the paintwork when you're removing the glue. But so now we need to try and get rid of that kind of marks there. So yeah, the outline of the voxel badge. So the plan is, um, I'm gonna try and use some kind of polish stuff. So I'm actually gonna try and use this um, Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. Um, I'm gonna do it by hand first, um, just with the polishing pad. If that doesn't work, I've got like a polishing pad for the end of a drill to get to almost kind of machine polish it. Um, but that'll be a last resort. But we'll try this first. So let's crack on. Right, so as you've seen, I've given it a going over with some of that um, kind of ultimate compound by Meguiar's and it has come out better. Uh, I can still faintly 
see the barge in but I mean it's smooth so I mean it's not that it's not really noticeable but and I'm not sure you can see it on camera either but I think regardless we can still agree that that looks so much better tell you right debadging a car it's free and it makes a massive difference to the way the back end of your car looks hey, because I'm a fussy asshole um, I'm going to go over it with the buffing pad and some polish so so I'll try this and see if we can get this like the way I want it to be because I'm a fussy asshole and I'm like OCD so let's try this and see how we go on Right, I think that's as good as we're going to get it. Um, it still looks really good, um, I'm really happy with it. So I'd say this video has been a success really. And yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think? Is that a good job? Let me know. Yeah, again, I don't really know how to get it like perfect, perfect, I mean, like I said, um, you can slightly still see the voxel writing, but it's still really smooth. I don't know how deep it is into the paintwork, but regardless, you know, like I said, guys, it looks incredible. It looks a lot better, and it's still a really quite a good job. I think we'll agree. So anyway, I would say um, that about does it for this video. If you did find it helpful, then give it a thumbs up. And um, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy my content, then check out the rest of what I have on the channel and subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.